Thousand this week on the Cruising Kiwis. So what happened there? Try to do a good ass jump. We are consuming our body weight in this stuff. So Heike is leaving us. Leaving. She's found another boat to hitchhike on. This is Rob and I'm Rachel and these are our boys Finn, Declan and Ivan. We have sailed our catamaran Javelo across the Pacific Ocean. We would love it if you join us for the adventure. Bob has abandoned ship, deserting his wife and children and flown back to New Zealand. While he's away, we're going to reflect on what brought us to this point. We're going to use this opportunity to grow, learn from our mistakes and avoid making them in the future. It's important to remind ourselves that we can and we will get through this difficult experience to emerge stronger and better kite surfers. Yeehaw! So with that in mind, we're sailing out to Il Met, a kite surfing hotspot, though not today. This morning we seem to have the place to ourselves. Finn and Declan are up first, and though they are still very much at the beginning stage, they're doing okay. However, accidents can easily happen. What happened there? Tried to do a good ass jump. So I'd just been doing, I'd just been doing a few little bunny hops just before that one, and then I'd also done another one around the same size as that, further down the beach, and it, um, I landed that one, and so came back along here and I was doing a few more little bunny hops, and then I went for that one and just like Hiker said that I, it looked like I was leaning back a bit too much. It's a sizable you've cut, a you've bit. got quite a nice um, gash. Yeah. Um, oh, I think I, I thought that I'd hit it on the board and I just whacked it on the board. I didn't think it was actually cut, I thought that i just hit it. But I guess I might have actually hit some coral. I just didn't get the positioning in the air right. So, yeah. landed down and then the kite just went, shoo, got heaps of power into that. And just, it ripped me forward. Yeah, spectacular, but you know, you're pushing it. So you gotta make yeah. a few mistakes, you know what you can and can't do. That's good. Correct. Working hard. So we've come back to Port Moselle. There was no wind today anyway, so there was going to be no kite surfing. But that's just one of the reasons. Heike, who's been with us for, gosh, over a month now, she's booked a ticket from Sydney to fly back to Germany. But we're not leaving just yet, so she's gone around the marina asking if she can hop on another boat. The most important reason for us to be here is this stuff. French baguette. I don't know what they do to make it so tasty, but we are addicted to this stuff. So we've come back to top up on French stick. 
It's only a short distance between Il Met, where we were kite surfing, and Port Mazel. It's about an hour, hour and a bit sail. So it's easy to pop back and forth to service our addiction. Honestly, we are consuming our body weight in this stuff. We're gonna be the size of the house when we leave this place for this stuff. Magnifique. Out of this distress, it's a so Heike is leaving us. She's found another boat to hitchhike on to. Maybe, hopefully soon. Yeah. We never know. There's and something broken at the moment, but we'll yeah. see. They were leaving tomorrow and she was like, They were leaving today. Today. They might still leave today. I don't know. But something was I broken so now it's been delayed. But she has booked her flight so they have to leave sometime soon. They have to leave. Otherwise she will be flying back to Australia. Otherwise she won't be flying. Yeah. Or well, you'll be flying to Australia and then... Oh, yeah. And then flying to yeah. Germany. So she's packed her bags and she's off. <laughs> Hiker's new home, roughing it here with Dale. <laughs> um, so, yeah, choose which, which one you prefer. I don't And to her new cabin. Hey, what you up to? So exciting. Well, there you go. That's not too bad, is it? Not too shabby. That's a big that is yeah, beautiful. Nice. Yeah. And look how comfy this looks. Yeah. How, how not that cruising kiwi, it wasn't comfy. Yeah. It was also, I slept really well. <laughs> <laughs> With Hiker safely in her new home and our French patisserie fetish satiated, we return to Ilmet to begin the trickle down effect of having Finn and Declan teach Ivan and myself the next level of kite surfing progression, body dragging. After a little more trial and error, Ivan decided he'd had enough for one day. Finn had accidentally stood on a turtle while teaching Ivan, so together they went to check that the little critter wasn't hurt. The previous day, they'd seen someone pick a turtle up, so thought this was okay. I'm not sure it is, so don't try this at home. Make a decision now. Will stop spinning. I started seeking Just felt so alone Silence the sea Oh, another nasty one, yep So, <laughs> so I was like going goofy foot then I was going goofy yeah. foot Past so, here It's so like, here's me And then these I had, I had seen that guy that was behind me, but I thought that he was going that way. Mm -hmm. And so I was there, I was there, and then these other two guys were like there and there, and they went past me as I went through. And then I started switching back, and then I saw that guy, and I had to swoop the kite back down to, um, so that we wouldn't get our lines tangled up. I think that's in there. Still struggling a bit. So right, um, you, switched, you turned around. Oh, crap. Get it, grab it, grab it. Did you not tie it down, though? I put sand on it. What do you want me to tie it to? No, I mean like, yeah, wait. Oh, 
The blue one hasn't got anything on it though. Um, I turned to go back. And there was a guy there. Yeah, and there was a guy right there who was coming. So I was going, I was switching back to regular and he was coming at me goofy. And so like- And you're on the same he, line. He yelled out and so I like swooped my kite and like it just pulled me off my board. And so it did that whole thing where it just sits open to the wind and it was just dragging me straight down wind. So I was like trying to, res I was like digging my feet right in and then I stood on, uh, and then on the rock. I grabbed my board back and I was trying to regain the kite thing, the kite, and I was just like getting dragged along on my stomach um, through the water and then my leg hit that rock. But I got back. And you're safe. And, you and, got the, kite, and the kite didn't get screwed up and stuff and the kite and the board's fine, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And but man, oh, oh, And you'll live to tell another tale. Yes, Okay, what's going on guys? Today we're back in the living room. And today for this video, I'm going to go in and flick mum in the back of the head. She's never going to see it coming. Okay, let's go do it, man. Let's go do it. Alright, ready? Keep going, 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 If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps.